This is your CBS 46 News Flash Briefing, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good morning, I'm Karen Greer. Here are the latest numbers on the coronavirus outbreak for Georgia. More than 10,000 people are COVID-19 positive. 369 people have died from the virus. And Fulton County has more than 1,200 cases and 42 deaths. Doherty County has the second highest numbers with over 1,000 cases and 62 deaths. The statewide shelter in place order set to expire on Monday has now been extended through the end of April. Governor Brian Kemp making that announcement yesterday as he gave us an update on the coronavirus here in Georgia. The governor also ordering new rules and restrictions for nursing homes and long term care facilities. During his address, the governor took time to thank those who are following the guidelines. All of the provisions of the statewide shelter in place order will remain in effect. I want to thank everyone who has followed these directives. I certainly applaud your patience. The governor also announcing all short term vacation rentals will be temporarily suspended across the state and that does not include hotels or motels and campgrounds. An additional 1000 National Guard members are also being activated, bringing the total to 3000 with boots on the ground. Guard members will assist health care workers, food banks, and long-term care centers. Atlanta's mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms, issuing an executive order for one and a half million dollars to provide shelters for the city's homeless and help stop the spread of COVID-19. Earlier this week, our cameras, or actually overnight, our cameras were there as homeless Atlantans were gathering inside Atlanta's airport. Experts worry this will further spread the virus. Given current social distancing guidelines, the mayor's office says the funding will leverage private and philanthropic donations. Today, you are urged to wear blue if you're heading out. As you can see, I'm in blue, and so is everyone else here at CBS 46. It is for a national effort to recognize our healthcare heroes and frontline workers during this pandemic. Well, did the early morning storms wake any of you up? Let's get the latest on today's weather. Meteorologist Fred Campagna, it was loud. Oh yeah, they rumbled on through, but they're gone. And in, in the wake of those storms, we have bright conditions, but a very windy Thursday on tap. It'll turn a lot cooler for Friday. The weekend, Easter weekend, starts out dry and quiet, but then we have some stormy weather coming our way on Easter Sunday. So for today, temperatures in the mid-70s. See that northwesterly wind? At times, it'll gust 25, 30, maybe even 35 miles per hour, so a wind advisory is in effect. Temperature today in the upper 70s, 64 for high on Friday, near 70 Saturday. Rain on Easter with some storms Sunday night. This has been your personal flash briefing from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Home, Atlanta's one-day bath remodeler.